Hi everybody, I'm Laura. Welcome back to my channel and thank you for being here. If you're new here, um, make sure you leave a like and comment down below. Um, it seems to help if everyone comments a little bit to help get the videos out. I'm getting closer and closer to that thousand mark. Um, this is a um, bargain bee box video and this is featuring the month of July, the plumage collection, and this is my first crafting video from this box. Um, and I gotta tell you, I absolutely love this pendant. Um, I'm not at home, so things are looking a little bit different um, background wise. And you're gonna hear the dryer, you're gonna hear things in the background, the air conditioner and you know noises out in the shop. So, um, we're just going to get into this. I'm going to make this as quick and easy. I had some comments about how my videos are too long. So um, I'm going to start the video and then I'll um, get just so far in. I'll pause it so it's not repetitious and boring. And I'm trying to remember everything the lady said. Um, anyways, um, we'll just get into this. Um, Again, Bargain Bee Box is a beading subscription service, and for $19.49 a month, it's shipped directly to your door each month. And um, along with that, um, hold on. Okay, as I was saying, um, once you join Bargain Bee Box, you get a 30% off coupon that you shop in their sister store, Bead Box Bargains. Um, which is already discounted all month long. You can use that coupon code all month long um, from day one that you join. Um, and you get that coupon code over and over and over every month. Um, anyhow, so I also have a coupon that saves you $2 off either on your first subscription service and if you don't want to join you can use that two dollars off on your first order but you can only use the code one time so it's up to you how you want to proceed with that so what I've got here is um, I have a few things from my own stash I have some beetle on um, seven strand satin silver uh, this is the point eight um, 018 inch it's 46 .46 millimeter um, I have a length of it um, I have the pendant from the month this month it is lapis and uh, this beautiful peacock and then I have a couple of the lapis lazuli and then I have some of the lapis and chrysocoli beads and then I have some of the um, 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 the agate beads, the deep green agate beads. And then I have some beads for my stash. I also have some of the um, bead caps that they sent. And I also have um, some of the Crystal Rondell um, beads that are um, spacer beads. So we're going to just simply bead what I've got laid out here. I also am going to, whoops, use this beautiful um, feather toggle clasp. It's really pretty. Um, a lot of times when the toggle clasp is this pretty, I like to use it and incorporate it as part of my um, design piece. So we'll be doing that. And I'm going to start by putting on um, a crimp cover and um, a crimp tube and I'm going to get a little piece of plastic here and I'm using super glue gel. I'll put just a dab here. Close that back up. Get this back out of the way. 
and I have some like little pieces of leftover that I cut off from a project earlier whoops first let's get this crimp cover in place the crimp tube and I've lost it how did I lose that off in there I must not have actually had it on so he's fallen off good lord Let's try that again. That's why I always put more than what I need in the thing. He's going to be laying here somewhere. I'm going to find him eventually. Okay, let's go ahead and put this on. If I can get him to stay. And I'm going to take my flat nose pliers I'm going to kind of make sure he's kind of centered on there close to the end of the wire doesn't have to be because I can cut the excess off I'm going to give it a pull test and then I'm going to that what little bit's hanging out there is not going to matter I'm going to shake that crimp cover down I'm going to grab some of this glue and because this is a piece that I am going to sell I'm going to put some glue in here this ensures that this is going to withstand um, whoever's going to wear it they could have children or something on that lines and you just want to make sure that you know when you sell this it's not going to come apart so we're just going to give a smush mush and then we're going to give that a few seconds to dry while we go ahead and start beading I'm just going to hold that off to the side and this is actually going to come in play right here on the center and I may put some of these small blue beads, a couple of them, where this is going to ride. I already have this lined up the way I want it. So I'm just going to start at one end and start beading. So I'm putting on just one of my blue um, glass uh, spacer beads. Um, they are just... Um, round glass beads from Walmart and then I'm just going to start beading in the pattern that I've chosen now when it comes to these filigree beads you want to make sure you hit the center because these have tons of little holes in them and then when it comes to putting them on your bead um, find the hole to this bead there we go you want to make sure because see how that is kind of squared off on the top you want to push this down onto your bead so that it fits flush to your bead I mean if you want it to sit outright away from your bead that's up to you but I find that the piece goes to back gather neater and looks better if it's not like sitting way out away so we have that and I'm going to put on one of these lapis and chrysola beads now I'm going to check this it feels good and dry so I can drop them all the way down to that end and that's how this is looking so far I really like that and again here's one of these and my wire is going to get kind of caught up between Again, press it into that bead and 
and just keep bead string. These um, little glass beads are just um, from, I believe, Hobby Lobby. These are glass seed beads, nothing fancy. They just went well with the colors. And I am putting them on the 10 um, millimeter beads. And then I'm putting one of these. I really like how that looks. And I'm going to put one of these small, I believe these were six millimeter. Yes, I believe so. And this is where I'm going to put on I don't know if I'm going to use just one because I don't want my toggle my my um I don't want this to lay directly on the wire. So I want it to have, hmm. I think I used a thick enough bead that I only need one. So we'll set him back over and go ahead and put the green bead on. And let's go ahead and see how that looked. One was plenty. See, that gives that room to flow without rubbing on the wire, which really saves your piece a whole lot. So we're going to go ahead and continue beating, and I'll bring you right back. Okay, so now I am ready to finish this off. I have this all um, strung up. It is really, really pretty. I like how it turned out. And I'm going to go ahead and put my um, crimp cover on. Um, and I am going to put on... It's not a crimp cover, guys. I don't know why I keep calling it that. And then I'm going to put on the crimp tube. And I am going to um, open this up just a hair. Because I want a little extra room to reach in there. And I want to make sure that all my beads are down to the end. So I'm going to go ahead and shake it. I don't want it to be tight. I want to keep it loosey goosey, but I don't want spaces. I'm going to grab my pliers and I'm going to reach right in there. I'm going to grab that crimp tube and I'm going to crimp that crimp tube down and I'm going to make sure the whole thing is crimped because I don't want that to come back up. I'm going to grab and I'm going to give a tug test and it stayed. So 
It does have a little bit of play. I'm not really concerned about it. Um, and then I'm going to grab my glue. I'm going to reach down in here and I'm going to put my glue down inside of there. Like I said, if this was just for me, I would not worry about this, but this is a piece that's being sold. So I want to make sure that whoever gets this, it's not going to fall apart on them. I'm going to line this up so that it's square with that crimp. And I'm going to fold this shut. I've got glue on my fingers. Just before it's shut all the way, I'm going to hold this by the I by the by the necklace and then I'm going to try to trim this off my let me find my scissors I misplaced them let me use these and I'm going to trim that off And I usually go back through and do any excess trimming I need to with um, like um, oh what am I trying to think of guys um, words are not coming right now <laughs> I go back through with like uh razor knives and trim up anything that I need to. So now we're done with that. We're going to let that set. And this side is just going to get a jump ring. So we're going to get a hold of a jump ring, find the opening, and we're just going to twist it open and we're going to put both of these tiny little things through there. I forgot to get my chain out. So instead of losing that, I'm going to close it. So we're going to bring that closed so I don't lose it. And I'm going to go ahead, and this is the curb chain that came in this month's box. I really love curb chain. It is nice to work with, especially this size. Um, this size curb chain makes it very easy to put jump rings through. Some curb chain is very tiny and very difficult to work with, um, especially the stuff from Walmart. Oops. Turn this around where I can find the opening. Put that in my pliers. We're going to twist this open and slide that curb under that curb chain on. And the reason I'm not cutting the curb chain off is because I don't know what length I want it at yet. We're just simply going to close this up. We're going to check this by using the curb chain to make sure it's closed. Do the finger check. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take one of the bigger jump rings because I need to come through this piece here. Correct. 
have to stop and think now? No. I have to come through this thick piece here because this is the piece that's going to be on the bottom. No, it has to be on the top. So it's got to come through this. So my feather is going to be kind of laying like so. So I'm going to get hold of this. Find the opening to this jump ring. Twist. And this is the thickest jump ring that would go through this. Now, we're going to go through this right here. Let it slide all the way to the bottom. And then I think I'm gonna use my needle nose pliers for this because I need to get in here. Let's see if this will slide. in my pliers a little bit better. So I have a little more to get a hold of because this piece right here is really, really thick. There we are. Sometimes you just need to take matters in your hands and say, I need a little more room, please, people. And then you just want to wiggle, check, oops, the light is like blinding. There we go, I hear click click. My biggest concern is making sure that this here, because this is skinny, does not come out. And that's a good one. Okay. And then I'm going to hold this up to myself. Measure this. I need to cut this about here. Um, need my cutters. And I went over my hair instead of under it, so let's take a little more off. I can always adjust it later. There we go. Just like that. Get them out of the way. And then this end will get the, the toggle part. And we have a, I want a smaller jump ring for that. I don't know, he's really small, but that's okay. Find the opening. I'm always pulling a towel apart. Oops. Oops. This one is not wanting to open. Oh, I had him upside down. So I have him open. Putting in the chain. Oh, you know what? I got to use the big one because that toggle's not going to go over that. Where is the split? There it is. I forgot that toggle is really big. Again, the chain. And then the toggle, and then 
close it up. Just like so. And then get all this stuff out of our way. And we simply put the toggle, whoops, through just like that. And the light is like glaring on it. This turned out so beautiful. And it never lays still when I try to hold it in my hand, guys. <sighs> it's going to be one of those days. There we go. How beautiful is that? I love this piece. I love how it turned out. It is gorgeous. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Love y'all. And I'll talk to all of you guys down in the comments below. Bye, everybody.